I bid you good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you may be watching this transmission. It is I, Mike Martins. I got somewhat of a very important article for you, and it kind of shows the dismantlement, the takedown of how, you know, kind of almost like a blueprint of what's happening around the world, where the takedown of of companies, jobs, pay, good paying jobs are being or having to close their doors. Why? Profitability, maybe, or cost of operation. I think it's cost of operation. We know what the property tax is in Vancouver and how it's been going out of whack or it's becoming more and more dangerous to, to operate out of these big cities, right? In the end, is it worth it with the amount of taxation being paid? One of Vancouver's biggest players in film, animation, shutters weeks before Christmas. That is actually a big deal because animation, green screening, um, you know, post-production, all kinds of stuff is in BC. And the majority of it lies in our one of our major capitals, and that is Vancouver, right? Moving Pictures Company announces closures and email to staff a, citing external market pressures. The Vancouver Film Animation and Visual Effects Studios that won an Academy Award for its work on Life uh, of, of P has closed its doors. CPC News has obtained an email sent to staff at the Moving Pictures Company. MPC Wednesday, get it, MPC, Moving Pictures Company, MPC, NPC, never mind. I'm not funny. Wednesday announced an immediate closure of Vancouver Studio. The company has not responded to CBC's request for interviews, but in the email it cited increasing external market pressures in Vancouver as well as more attractive opportunities in other locations. Yeah. Try moving like two hours away from the city. You know what I'm saying? And I'll give you guys an example. Here, my house, okay, I was on I was on um, the real estate site, whatever you call it. MLS or whatever, right? Or realtor.ca. And I took the square footage of my house, the land, everything, to try and find a comparable of it. So I put it into the comparables in Vancouver, Burnaby, um, Vancouver, Burnaby, North Van, West Van, and like Richmond, all that area, okay? I couldn't find anything for under $4 million because the, my land size is actually pretty big. I couldn't find for anything under $4 million. I did. I found one for $2.6 million, but the, the – okay. Anything I found under, under, under $2 million, the house needed to be restored. Like you have to spend a lot of money. Like you have to tear down the house. It's to tear it down. So – because of the amount of land. So I cut back the land and just did the house only. 1.4, 1.6 million bucks. So that's that's a stab in the heart for people that do own them there and pay that much for that, that much property. Where I'm living, just a simple life, laying roots, paying my taxes, sending my kids to school and enjoying my life. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's food for thought. You know what I'm saying? Better opportunities elsewhere. The company has not responded to CBC's request for interviews, but in the email cited increasing external market pressures in Vancouver as well as more attractive opportunities in other locations. This decision has not made it has not been taken lightly, the email said. It is not known how many staff members will be losing their jobs weeks before Christmas. At the peak of 2013, more than 800 artists artists worked out of Vancouver studio. That's got to hurt, man. That's good. And they, these these 800 artists are the ones, are the private sector jobs that I keep talking about that are actually dumping the money into it's, it's into the, you know, the infrastructure, the ones that are getting ta gouged and taxed gouged from their wages. You know what I'm saying? Brenda Bailey, executive director of Interactive and Digital Media Trade Association of BC, says it's a big loss for the city. It is. It's huge. 800 private sector workers. Uh, included MPC's repertoire is work with the Lion King, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Watchmen, Call of the Wilds. There is an important player, and they are also and they are re also really involved in the community here. Bailey said, "Of course they are." Now, I have quite a few artist friends that have worked or work for this company, and they sent me this message. Right, I got this message actually from four different people. But the one that, when I noticed it was him, I'm like, oh, I wonder if he's doing okay. I know he was working on, like, 
uh, animation studio in, in Vancouver. I, I know because it says it on his Facebook page. And I know a lot of people because of my nerd store I owned or my geek, geek squad or my geek store I owned in Vancouver, right? So a lot of them would come to me to check on me, right? Uh, the moving picture company was a member of Interactive Digital Media Trade Association BC, which focuses on educating youth and post-secondary students about the industry. So it kind of preps people, gets kids involved in the community, kind of looking at what's going on, you know what I'm saying, and what to look forward to if they join the industry, right? Bailey heard uh, the news uh, The news in an email sent her to her directly from the company. She said more needs to be done to create a competitive environment for the film industry in BC due to the increased costs of doing business. There you go, guys. Costs of doing business is just it's ju it's just crazy. I think there is a little bit of uncertainty right now in terms of tax credits and business doesn't thrive in uncertainty, she said. In a statement, Minister of Tourism of Arts, Culture Lisa uh, Birar said the government is disappointed to learn of the closure, but remains confident that BC's thriving creative sector. No. Yeah, he's very, because those are private sector jobs, you won't be taxing their jobs anymore, their wages anymore, and their CPP, their pensions that probably won't be getting in the future because the pension system will be out of money. Oh, man, we're in a world of hurt. The interactive and digital media industry generates approximately $2.3 billion each year in revenue, according to Bear. Our government is investing record amounts of tax credits towards film, TV, and digital media industries, ensuring our province remains global destination for this sector. Sorry, guys. It's early morning here. Beware, uh, Bear said in a statement, MPC also operates studios in Montreal, London, Los Angeles, and Bangalore, India. There is no word whether any of these other studios are affected by the closure. Guys, this is actually a big deal. This is written by reporter and producer uh, Mickey Cowan. She's a, report, a reporter producer for CB, CBC Vancouver. Has a passion for municipal issues and water security. Really good. Thank you for writing that and getting that out there for us. So here's the deal, guys. This is, again, like I said on my channel, it is a big problem. It is a huge problem when any private sector jobs start to evaporate. I'm telling you guys this because it's, it's, it's crucial. It is the fabric of who we are and what made us. Now... In my opinion, it's this studio, I think the, I, in, this is just my opinion, I don't know, but I think property tax is seventy, eighty, a hundred thousand dollars a year. I know people watching the states like, what are you talking about, Mike? Well, we saw a little, little strip, um, it looked like it to be a hairdresser, and they're paying fifty-three thousand dollars a year in property tax. So the more socialized and the more social justice warriors win. And the less conservative and the less productive we become, it's just going to lead to this. And it's capitalism trying to find, trying to survive. This is like capitalism trying to survive in a socialist city, right? Like, let me give you guys an example. Here on my street, I, I live in a cul-de-sac. I moved in here three years ago. When I moved into this cul-de-sac, I was the only... A uh, person from Vancouver. Now, everybody's from Vancouver in this cul-de-sac except the one on the edge where he's selling his property, local from Merritt, is selling, last guy, and the one guy in the in the middle of the cul-de-sac who moved from Kamloops because it was getting too expensive there. So what is this? So solutions for MPC, guys? I'm going to give you guys some free information. Princeton. Move to Princeton, B.C. Princeton's got a lot of cheap land for sale, and and their entire downtown is empty, boarded up. You could get a nice, like an old, like not like a Zeller's type, but like a Fields type store with a lot of square footage, and then just start pitching out the jobs. People will be saying, hmm, Princeton, well, the rent will be affordable. My wages are decent. Hmm, I might as well just buy a house while I'm in Princeton. That will start changing things and changing the tide and 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 kind of staying in the province but creating opportunities elsewhere in the province mpc if you're watching this i i, I don't know if you will 
Look at Princeton, British Columbia. Very strategically located. It's got a lot going for it and it has a potential. I, I promise you guys. The jobs, people will go to the jobs. I have a friend in Dublin, Ireland that had to close in Dublin. Uh, a, a, a very lucrative business in Dublin. But moved to a small town. He's making more, if not more than he imagined. Because people come to the jobs regardless. Because employees couldn't afford to move to Dublin after they graduated from college. Because it was too expensive. So he moved to Southwest, uh, Southwest Ireland and took advantage of that opportunity in a small town. And the pub now is full of these young workers that they've never seen before. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Because they're contributing to the infrastructure. Let me know what you guys think. MPC, if you're watching this, Princeton, BC is, I'm telling you, people will go to Princeton because they can afford to live in Princeton. Thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. Share this. Get this out there. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below.